back to the YouTube channel. I am at Oaks Club Valencia at my golf club and I wanted to do a course vlog, solo course vlog today. Um, we're actually gonna start off at number nine. Uh, try to find a gap where I could do some film for you guys. Um, but yeah, this is a tough part three. I'm gonna just reverse the camera for you guys. So this is 210, okay, 210 downhill. Obviously you guys see the water on the left. Um, you know, what goes through my head with strategy is number one thing, I don't wanna go left, okay? So I gotta do everything in my power to not go left, meaning we need to start with a good target. So if you see the bunker over there and in between the pin, that's my target, okay? I naturally play a draw. 210 is probably playing about 200. Uh, I'm gonna be playing it to the front of the green, so it's about 188 to the front. And you know, I'm just gonna just play a smooth one, a little wind behind. I like to play to the front because once it hits the ground running, it's gonna roll. So that's my goal right now. Let's get to the front. Let's just get to the front. Pushed it a little bit, but you know, just right side of the green uh, on the fringe. You know, like I feel like um, when I put a lot of my buddies who are like kind of higher handicaps, they just kind of look at the pin and just shoot it. You know, I, I am a pro. I would say like, it's important to understand that like, you can't go at every pin. You're not gonna hit it straight all the time. So you have to adjust, right? Like I didn't go for that pin. And you know, because one little kick, one little bounce, one little, pull, a little even a little pull, it's going in the water. So you guys are gonna see where I ended up, but it's very important to position yourself in the right place for your second shot. It's like playing chess, you know, positioning yourself to be, you know, to get the at worst par, you know, hopefully, right? So yeah, I mean, you guys can maybe couldn't tell from the video. It's kind of downhill. Um, it's where my ball ended up. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Like I said, you know, one little kick over there, it's gonna go to the water. So I'm okay with that. Um, it looks like I'm probably gonna have to put this. So that was a pretty bad read. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I'd take part all day on this hole. And, and uh, we're not playing the complete black tees because it's not visible, the hole from all the way back there. So from here, we're playing about 410, dog leg left, just hitting a little nice little hybrid, okay? Just a little, hit it a little straight. We don't need to really bend it too much, just right of the bunker. So I was pretty happy, happy with that shot. Pushed it a little bit, drew back. Like I said, I'm go, I'm doing this this swing change, trying to get my hips open more. Um, so hard to trust on the golf course, and I, I know a lot of you guys go through that too. And like I said, really focus on the tempo. Make sure that if you are someone that used to swing 100%, 80%, try to slow it down 10, 15%, because you don't want to go full throttle. You don't want to go all out especially because you don't know where your swing is at right so slow it down a little bit and make sure that you get the feels first okay so the exact reason why i didn't really hit driver i'm not really comfortable like hooking the ball right now my hybrid came all the way down over here um pretty much a straight shot needed to bend it a little bit all right so we got a shot right here myself about I got 30 footer which is a very subpar shot wouldn't really be too happy about that if it was a um, tournament but you know gotta do the best way we can with this
and never complain about tapping pars. All right, guys, we're on hole 11, 147, a little bit downhill. There's a huge slope on the middle of the green, so everything funnels right. I got to aim just left of the pin and let the ground do its work. Pushed it a little bit, uh, should be pin high. It's kind of just on the right side of the green. So here's the hill that I was telling you guys about. It's pretty severe down. Um, yeah, I was trying to kind of hit it like in this area and let it trickle down, but I mean, pin high, I'm not really complaining too much. Always try to look at the side of the hole and always look at behind. Because you want to look at all angles. You want to get the most data possible before you hit the putt. Misread it. I'm waiting a little bit. Um, there's a group ahead of me, it's a foursome, which is fine. But um, I wanted to really thank you guys. I was very, like, kind of, sort of speak, afraid to start YouTube. I don't know why. I just, you know, I didn't really think people would be interested in, like, what I had to say or my game, whatever. But I feel like the community has brought me in, like, so much. And I'm so grateful for you guys. Like, thank you so much for being receptive and giving me positive comments and even you know crossing over to Instagram and DMing me telling me like we love your tips so I really appreciate you guys thank you so much um, it's been a, it's been a fun journey it's something that I never thought I would do but it's really fun I, I love doing it I love sharing some knowledge that that I've been through out of the course of my career and also I really want to thank you guys I've been getting a lot of orders through you through YouTube uh, for my golf brand story golf um, the links right here but I want to give a special discount code to my YouTube fam only so I'll put a discount code right here um, if you're interested obviously if you're not it doesn't matter but if you are interested here's a special 20% off limited time for you guys hope I can bring more value to you guys I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna bring more players I'm gonna bring more golf coaches uh, everyone res has different language you know, just cause there is a great coach out there for other players doesn't mean it's great for you, right? So hopefully I can bring out more coaches that can speak your language if maybe something I say doesn't resonate with you. So hopefully you'll come out and do well for you guys. So, all right, let's get it going. So it's about 424 par four. Um, it's a dog leg left. My target's gonna just be straight ahead and then let the ground do the work. It's gonna kind of funnel down. wasn't the greatest so I know I'm in the fairway but I really didn't hit that well um, I have about a 148 yard 148 yards left um, but pin high a little bit left it's kind of crazy like this swing feel that I have you know like I'm so accustomed to not I'm like an upper core player, meaning like I'm more upper body, never really utilize my lower body. And, you know, it's not good. I wish I was more aware of it, you know, not that I wasn't aware of it. It's just, I was kind of stubborn to not really like work on it. But now that I'm not really competing, it's kind of timely for me to do it. Um, but yeah, it feels so weird and I totally get why a lot of like my friends who are amateurs are like, oh, I don't want to do a swing fix because you guys don't have time to practice and I totally get that. So you just got to find what works for you. I don't think there's like a end all be all type of thing. So make sure you guys find what works for you and your game because that's that's what really is important. So my shot was better than I thought. I didn't really see it from back. There's a little of a hill. This is where my ball landed. It's pretty good. Not too bad. Um, So I've been getting asked a lot about spin. You need to have your face super open because you need speed. 
right? Like if your face is too square for a short shot, you can't go hard at it. That's why I like opening up the face a lot, okay? And you need clean grooves and you need a good lie. So that's gonna conclude the course vlog today. Uh, I know it was only four holes, I apologize. I definitely wanna do longer holes. Um, this is the most time I had today, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got some tips. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below with anything. I mean, I'm happy to answer. So thank you for tuning in. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you guys soon.